Without objection, the chair is authorized to declare recesses of the committee at any time. Uh, good morning and welcome to the second day of the hearing entitled James Webb Space Telescope Program Breach and Its Implications. I'll recognize myself for five minutes for an opening statement. Yesterday, the committee heard discussions about the James Webb Space Telescope Program breaches. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine and Independent Review Board Chairman Tom Young provided insights into the Northrop Grumman management problems. As a reminder of JWST's cost overruns and schedule delays, uh, take a look at the chart on display, and this is the chart that I also uh, showed yesterday. Uh, the chart chronicles JWST's substantial cost growth and launch schedule delays starting in the lower left corner with the 1996 initial projection of $500 million and a 2007 launch <coughs> all the way to the <coughs> excuse me, upper right corner with the IRB's 2018 projection of $9.6 billion and a 2021 uh, launch. That is 19 times the original cost and a delay of 14 years. Who is going to be held accountable? Beginning with TRW's 1990s developmental work on JWST through Northrop Grumman's acquisition of TRW and continuance of the pro project's development, it is clear that Northrop Grumman did not adhere to the best business practices. Digging into the details, the IRB report describes mistakes that have greatly impacted the JWST development schedule and its associated cost increases. The IRB categorized the, those issues as follows. First of a kind developments such as the complex sun shield for the telescope, avoidable human errors in the workplace such as the use of a wrong solvent and applying excess voltage, lack of individual and organizational discipline in developing safety checks to catch human errors and minimize their impact, embedded problems with contractor quality control processes such as not detecting technician and material errors until assembly and testing when those errors added to cost. Lack of contractor managed engineering audit process to catch embedded problems before those problems continued unchecked until testing and assembly. The IRB's description of workplace errors and lack of good management has been found at other space missions associated with Northrop Grumman. The U.S. aerospace industry has the highest skilled workforce in the world. Their scientists, engineers, and technicians have built incredibly challenging and complex aerospace systems. So the workplace errors and lack of uh, discipline, auditing, and quality control described by the IRB uh, could lead us to believe that the real issue may be with Northrop Grumman. Not that Northrop Grumman hasn't tried to convince the public that all is going well. As this hearing date approached, uh, Northrop Grumman's JWST advertising campaign loudly proclaimed, quote, making history requires mission success and the value of performance. But the full page ad in the Washington Post, which may have cost as much as $200,000, didn't mention the lack of performance due to billions of dollars in cost overruns, years of launch delays, frustration of NASA managers, and avoidable workplace errors. As I said yesterday, when government contractors make mistakes, typically no one is held accountable. The mistakes just happened or were unavoidable or won't happen again. But in every case, the American people pick up the bill. We often forget there is no such thing as federal dollars. It is the American taxpayers' hard-earned money. Going forward, Congress needs to have the necessary confidence in NASA's contractors to put us on the right path at a reasonable cost. Anything short of that will undermine congressional confidence in contractors' ability to deliver on their promises. Another adverse effect of cost overruns, of course, is that they can jeopardize other space programs. If space exploration is going to continue to earn the public support, then contractors will have to deliver on time and on budget. If they cannot, they should be penalized. And that concludes my opening statement. And the gentlewoman from Texas, the ranking member, Ms.